models for the hair school. Um, so I'm really excited about that, but it's raining right now, which is not a good omen. Mm. <sighs> and it's also a little cold actually, it's been like over 30 degrees every day basically. And now it's, you know, I would guess around 18 degrees. So I don't really have any, any warm clothing. I couldn't find my sweater. Um, but hopefully it'll warm up later and not just get thunderstorms. <laughs> just got back from the hairdressers where I got this haircut. I really like it around here, but I'm not so sure about these bangs. I told them they could do whatever they wanted with the bangs, um, and I've never had this kind of uh, very light and feathery bangs, but I'm not sure it really works for me. <laughs> Maybe I just need to get used to it. Sometimes that's just how it is. Um, but it'll grow out, so if I don't like it, it won't last very long. So that's why I also said they could do whatever they wanted. Um, but so now I finally got home. I went uh, shopping for some makeup. You can see I got some makeup done. I went to Sephora. So I actually haven't shopped at Sephora before, but this time I went specifically knowing one thing I wanted, which was the Kat Von D uh, lipstick, liquid lipstick. Um, and I got it in Lolita uh, color, which is apparently the most popular one. Um, but so that's what I'm wearing now, and I'm excited to get to wear that a little more. And then I also got, there it is, um, a Sephora bronzer um, for doing a little bit of contouring. I've never really tried that, but that's I got someone to do it on me at the uh, Sephora store, so I'm excited to try that out. I'm a little exhausted right now, actually, from uh, going out for so long. I mean. It's not like I, I have a problem with going out for that long. It's more just being around hair and makeup people. For some reason, it's a little exhausting. You know, they're very emotional uh, and constantly, uh, well, I would say it's exaggerating, like saying, oh, everything looks so beautiful, and oh, your outfit's so cute, and oh, this hair looks so beautiful, and I don't know, I'm not, I guess I just am not used to that uh, after living in Denmark, where you're very, you have to be very subdued with your compliments. Uh, like a big compliment is just it doesn't look so bad <laughs> in Denmark so it's a little different here in Canada it's one of the the big things that I noticed this time around uh, visiting home because um, I last the last couple of times when I visited Toronto I didn't really notice it that much I mean I think maybe subconsciously I noticed of course that people are a little more emotional here but um, or at least showing their emotions more. I'm sure people in Denmark are just as emotional. It just seems a little fake to show your emotions so much when, I don't know. I guess it's just subjective what, what you prefer. Anyways, so now I'm tired and I am treating myself to some uh, delicious uh, strawberry rhubarb and Nutella in a puff pastry thing. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna do some relaxing, maybe practice uh, piano playing. And uh, later tonight, I am going out to karaoke with one of my friends. Uh, and that will be lots of fun because it's at a cool cafe that's just down the street. It's called Seascape, and it is a horror video game themed cafe. So it's a pretty nice combination, I'd say, with uh, horror video games and. Uh, I guess it's also sci-fi actually, uh, and uh, karaoke, and there's also lots of fancy drinks, so lots of things I like. Mm -hmm. 